It is a super early morning out here in beautiful Las Vegas, Nevada. Okay, let's go ahead and get this pull session in. Okay, so you know what? Let's go. All right, and we are back. Okay, motherfucking selective androgen receptor modulator broccoli haired ass motherfuckers. I truly apologize for the long hiatus I've been away from YouTube. And I gotta be honest, this YouTube. The YouTube videos are no joke, okay? especially when it comes to long form content. So like I said, we're gonna go ahead and do this pull session in. So what I'm gonna do first before that is, yes, I'm gonna eat super early in the morning. I'm gonna eat three motherfucking caramel rice cakes, 33 grams of carbs altogether. It's a quick digesting carb source and it just gives me the quick energy to go ahead and perform in the gym. It doesn't bloat me and just, it just, you know what? It just lets me ready to fucking go, ready to kill this fucking workout, let's go. Mm -hmm. So as of lately, my joints have been feeling creaky and cracky. So what I'm going to be doing for today's pull session is I'm going to be doing the same basic exercises like I always preach, but I'm not going to go as heavy, especially as you get through your years, as you advance, you're going to experience a lot of wear and tear, especially as you get stronger. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do lighter ish weights relative to myself. I'll still have a little bit of ego in there, but, um, I'm still going to make sure that I'm training hard, but I'm going to make sure that the weights are going to feel heavier than it actually is. So I'm going to slow down the tempo. I'm going to do things like pauses and I'm going to make my muscles work as hard as possible without trying to add and pile on more weight. All right. So that's just too much talking at this point. Let's go ahead and train. Okay, let's go. And we are back here at powerhouse gym, Las Vegas. Let's go. Look at that. Okay. Once again, an empty gym. What is going on? All right, we're gonna start with an upper back exercise, upper mid back exercise. It's gonna be a chest supported row. You don't have to do this particular exercise. There's plenty of other variations that you can do. This is just something that I personally like. So what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna be holding the handles horizontally. I'm gonna have my elbows more flared out so I can ignite the upper mid back. So, Starting off with a very lightweight first, and just going from there. Oh, that feels great. So, just warming up and gradually going up. I don't have any fancy warm up routine. I just start with the very first exercise and then gradually build up in weights from there. So when it comes to warming up, there's not really a right or wrong answer. This is where you're really going to have to listen to your body and take notes on when you honestly feel nice and looped up. So, two plates. weight on this thing. Five plates. So when it comes to warming up, like I said, there's no direct answer on what is right or wrong. You want to have that good balance in between. You're getting yourself nice and looped up and at the same time not getting yourself so fucking tired at the point where you can no longer do your working sets. So five plates. All right, enough of this warm-up shit. I'm feeling pretty good. Okay, so I can go heavier than this generally, but like I said, I'll uh, chill out for today and uh, slow down the tempo and make this weight feel harder. Okay, so yeah. Let us go.
right, yeah, that one was hard. Especially when you, uh, when I slow down the tempo, do a slight pause at the bottom. My back is feeling that already, <laughs> in a good way. Back offset here, so it's gonna be a higher rep range. So people will concern themselves about things like the best rep range. I honestly say all of them, okay? Because if you're pushing very hard, regardless of whatever rep range you use, it's gonna work. To do a, a next mind blowing exercise. What? A lat pull down. Just doing it out. All right, let's get straight into this working set. I'm more than warm at this point, so let's go. So I'm three sets in and my back feels just super fried at this point. Like, that's what I'm saying. I get confused when people say that they're in the gym for, I don't know, three hours and they're doing a million exercises and they don't feel accomplished. You have to question the amount of quality effort that you're putting in as well as the quality intent with the muscles that you're trying to work. All right, gonna go straight into my working set now. Some seated cable rows. I'm more than more than warm at this point, so I'm gonna go straight into the working set. I know what muscles I'm trying to activate, and uh, yep, let's go. And did a second set of this. No crazy analysis paralysis here. Control your shit. Put a hard effort. That's really all there is to it. I'm so tired, man. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. I haven't even done that many working sets. So people are always surprised when I say the amount of time I spend in the gym, which isn't a lot. If you hit the target, if you hit the nail right on the head, you don't need to be spending eight hours at the fucking gym. 
quality and effort. All right, last exercise, we're gonna stay right here. And as you can see, I changed the handles. And what we'll be doing here is we'll be doing a lat focused row. So what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna have my elbows tucked in this point at this point. So that's the difference between the last row that I was doing in which I was focusing on my mid back and now my elbows are gonna be tucked, which is gonna be focusing on the lats. So, yep, last exercise. I'm fucking, my back is fried. And did a second set here and I did a higher rep range set like I said all rep ranges work regardless of whatever weight you use however light it is if you're putting a hard effort it is going to work and at the end of the session I did biceps cable curls so arms is not a priority for me it's not a weak point so this is something that I can personally leave at the end of the session now if you have small arms then you're gonna have to program your workout accordingly based off of where your strong points and weak points are All right, so that was literally my session, okay? Four back exercises and one biceps exercise. For each exercise, two working sets, okay? It was pretty self-explanatory. Again, it's all about the quality reps that you put in and the effort that you put forth. I, you, like, you don't have to spend three hours in the gym, and I say it over and over again. And that's why there's a lot of people who are surprised how they're spending so much time in the gym, but they're not getting the necessary results you have to think and a lot of the time when i see them train they're either not putting in a hard effort or not putting in quality reps or both i know i'm yapping a lot but i'm going to use one more analogy here so say for example you have a group of enemies that you are trying to take out and you have a very aggressive weapon and you go ahead and shoot and you either miss all of them or you get a couple of them as compared to if you were to have a very accurate shot with less of an aggressive weapon, but you hit every single target. Same concept applies to your workout sessions. You could be jerking around the weight, not putting in quality effort, not putting in quality reps, and how much effective work are you putting in towards the muscles that you are trying to work? The same concept applies. Don't forget to check out my link tree for coaching, ebooks, merchandise, all that good stuff. And I will be adding more to this list so I can continue to provide more value for you guys. So have a good one. Let's go.